Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the uncracked section properties being Y and I at 30 years and we're looking at sagging again. Now, just before I start, the process between the 30 year case and the 28 day case is the exact same. The only difference is going to be the amount of steel we need to compensate with concrete. So we have a new ratio, N, which is 16.6. Uh, the reason it's new is because we found this new elastic modulus of 30 years to be that value there, which we just found in the previous video. So once again, the process is going to be the exact same. The only difference is going to be the values. So once again, the way we do is we start off by finding the corresponding area of top and bottom steel, but we make it into concrete. So we need to multiply by that factor. But we know that for the uncracked section, we're going to have some um, extra, extra concrete out the side, and we need to... Um, replace this steel in there. So we're going to have to subtract one set off. So essentially it's just going to be 16.6 minus one set by two by pi. So we're doing the area of the top steel. Now the top steel was n20 bars. So times by the radius squared. So pi by 10 squared is just the area of one single bar times by two is multiplied by the two bars. Now ordinarily just to replace it would multiply by 16.6 except we need to fill up those holes. So we, multi so we take off one set of these bars. And that's what that formula says, just to remind you. If you were to work this out, you would find that you would get 9801.8 millimeters squared. So we now have a new area, a new area of concrete. So we're replacing those steel bars with concrete. And the area is 9801.8 millimeters squared. We then find the area of the bottom steel. Now the same thing, we're going to use 16.6